Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In this video, we will learn about conceptual, logical and physical data modeling. Let's first get an understanding about what is data modeling. Suppose that in a library, we need to classify all books and arrange them on cells to make sure we can easily access every book. We are categorizing the books according to their content, subject or their origin. For example, historical books are all in the same area and novels are collected together. So we can organize them in a way that we can easily find a correct book that we are looking for. Similarly, if you have massive amount of data, we need a system or method to keep everything in order. The process of sorting and storing data is called data modeling. In a way, data modeling is simply a diagram that displays a set of tables and relationship between them. And that brings us to the next question in which phase data modeling takes place. Traditionally, data models have been built during the analysis and design phases of the project to ensure that all the requirements of new application are fully understood. The process starts by collecting business requirements and rules from stakeholders and end users. These business rules are then translated into data structure to formulate a concrete database design. In a way, those models are conversion of business processes and requirements into graphical objects and relationship. Therefore, a data model can be compared to a roadmap and architectures, blueprints or any formal diagram that provide a deeper understanding of what needs to be designed. And who are data modelers? Data modelers are system engineers who design and implement data modeling solution using relational dimension or NoSQL databases. They have a variety of different tasks. For example, they identify business needs, create and maintain data models. They set design standards, tools, best practices, and related development methodologies for the organization. They also set standards for document naming, security, lifecycle, and retention architecture. They work closely with the data architects and prospective users to design a database that meets organizational needs using conceptual, logical and physical data model. And that brings us to the last question. What are modeling types? Any design process, database and information system design begins at a high level of abstraction and becomes increasingly more concrete and specific. Data models can generally be divided into three categories, which vary according to their degree of abstraction. The process will start with a conceptual model progress to logical model and conclude with the physical model. So let's have a look at them in detail. When you look at the conceptual data model, you see that it is a highly abstract and not including any detailed information. The main target of this model is to establish the entities which you see in here. The basic elements like religion, time and sales and the relationship between them. In this data modeling level, there is any hardly detail available for the actual database structure. Conceptual ERDs are the simplest model among all. That brings us some flexibility that we can enhance easily. And we don't need any concrete modeling tool. Even a piece of paper will be enough for modeling design. So when we step into logical data model, it is this abstract compared to conceptual one. It brings further information such as attributes in here like sales amount or city and channel details of a region and additionally primary key and foreign key information. There are a couple of modeling products in market 
that enables them to create logical data models such as Irwin or SEP Power BI Designer. The advantage of logical data model is to provide a foundation to form the base of the physical model. And the last one is physical data model, which is least abstract of all. They offer to finalize design that can be implemented to database. Entities referred as tables and attributes referred as columns. So the column should have exact data types, lengths, assigned and default values, primary key and foreign keys, views, indexes, SS profiles, and authorities are defined. Data modeling tools like Irwin and Power Designer can be used for modeling and to convert logical data model to physical data model. So we can see that the complexity increases from conceptual to logical and to physical data model. This is why we always first start with a conceptual data model. Then we move to logical and finally end up with the physical data model. In our data warehouse project, sometimes the conceptual data model and logical data model are considered as a single deliverable. A general understanding of three data models is that the business analysts use conceptual and logical model to model the business object that exists in the system. The database designer or engineer elaborate to the conceptual and logical ER model to produce the physical model that present the physical database structure ready for database creation. I hope that gives you a general idea about the different types of modeling. That's it in this video. In the next video, we will learn about OLTP and Data Warehouse.